Hello, and welcome to Intro to Canvas for CBE faculty. In this course, we'll be focusing mainly on Canvas as a teaching platform. But as we do so, you'll also be experiencing the course as a competency-based student. The best browsers to use with Canvas are Firefox, Chrome, or Safari. As a note, your browser is always the first thing you or your student should check if you are experiencing any trouble in Canvas. If any content or pages in the course do not display for you, please click on the light gray shield icon that will appear in the URL address bar. The shield icon is on the left side in Firefox and on the right side in Chrome. If the shield icon does not appear, click on the white title link on the Canvas page instead. The display problem is caused by a browser security setting and is not a Canvas issue. Please read the browser information located in the syllabus and in the Getting Started module for further details. Right now we're on the course homepage, and I'm going to take you on a quick tour of our classroom to help get you started. You can choose to navigate the course using the icons on the homepage or the buttons on the vertical toolbar. Both methods will take you to the same places. The vertical toolbar to your left is the course navigation toolbar. These tools will take you to places inside our course. We will be learning about almost every tool on the toolbar, so I've left them all accessible to you so you can investigate them if you want to. Running horizontally across the top of the page are the global navigation links. These links will take you to places outside of our course, like your calendar and your courses list. Before starting on the course content, please be sure to look for your SBCTC practice course on your courses list. You'll need your practice course for completing many of your assignments. I am going to right-click the course link and choose to open it in a new tab. This is a handy trick for flipping back and forth between our course content and your personal building space. Now I just need to click on the new tab to view it. Depending on your settings, this is what your practice course will look like when you open it for the first time. Also, please take a moment to locate your CBC Master Course. You will need to log in to the CBC Canvas instance to find it. You will use your Master Shell to complete the final performance assessment for this course. Let's go back to our training classroom now. To get started in the class, please view the orientation video, then read the syllabus. The syllabus contains everything you need to know about the class. I will also be posting course announcements, so please be sure to check those too. Please remember to ask questions. You can ask general questions on the Ask a Question discussion board. If you're wondering about something, you can bet that someone else probably is too. I try to answer these questions within 24 hours, but please feel free to reply to a classmate sooner if you know the answer they need. To contact me directly, you can message me through your inbox. You can also send me a quick message by clicking on Help and then on Ask Your Instructor a Question. From the home page, you can click on any icon to go to a specific module. The content modules are labeled with numbers, and as you hover over each con icon, the module title will display. The icons will direct you to the first page of the module you want to view. Alternatively, using the Modules button will take you to the full list of all the modules. When you are ready to start on the first module, go to the home page or the modules page and click on module 00, which is the getting started module. You can shrink or expand the module content by clicking on the arrow next to the module title. The content modules are set to open after you complete the start module. Here you can see that you must complete the getting started module before module 1 will open and become available. Let's go back to the getting started module now. The information in the start module is critical to your success in this course, so it is set that you must view every page in order. The getting started module is the only module that requires you to do this. Here you can see the viewed page check mark that you'll receive after viewing each page. You are encouraged to complete the course in the order in which it is laid out. That said, you may choose to complete it in any order you desire. 
The course assessments consist of three parts. The first are practice assignments. These are designed to help you practice skills and they will not count towards your grade. The second are summative quizzes designed to help you check your knowledge. These will count for 10% of your grade. And the third and final part is a performance assessment which will count for 90% of your grade. Because this is a competency-based course, you may decide which of the practice assignments you would like to complete and whether or not to complete the quizzes. All coursework is optional with the exception of the final performance assessment and you do not need to wait for your work to be graded in order to move on to the next module. You will receive feedback on any assignments you choose to complete. Even if you choose not to investigate the Canvas Guides links in the lesson section of most pages, it is still a good idea to at least skim the introductory page content on each page, as there are many extra tips given and items relevant to the CBE pilot practices are often mentioned there. I would also encourage you to read the Why It Matters and the Putting It Together pages so that you get a better sense of what students may experience in your own course. Lastly, I'd like to point out a study tool that is embedded in our course. Let's go look at it now. To use the Quizlet flashcards, simply click the card to view the word and read the definition. Then click the arrow to advance to the next card. To change your study mode, click on the study mode menu and select any of the other activities. Okay, that should be enough to get you started. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great class.